Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Um, and thank you for joining LM presentation about the um, extraction instruments. Um, my name is Ansi Dumontir, and I represent LM Dental here in North America. So today um, we'll go through um, some general uh, features and benefits of the LM um, extraction instruments. Um, we'll have a couple of um, quotes or experiences from the um, existing um, doctors using them. And in the end, there will be an opportunity uh, for some questions. Hopefully we'll find answers. And um, if you have any experiences using these instruments, we would also love to hear those. So thanks again for joining. Let's uh, do this together. Okay, so all of these um, extraction instruments are um, manufactured and designed um, in Finland at LM Dental uh, facility. Um, we have been making instruments uh, for 50 years now, focusing on the ergonomics and the quality. And that, of course, applies to the LM extraction instruments as well. The, the line, um, if you will, a slogan, is extract with confidence. And this was kind of the starting point when this line was initiated and first designed. Um, there were many extraction instruments out there, but the ergonomics um, were not ideal. Uh, the handles tend to be slippery um, or hard. So at LM, the idea was to create a line of extraction instruments that would actually be comfortable and secure to hold, thus boosting the confidence of extracting a tooth. Um, so we, we applied that typical um, LM dental ergonomics in the design of these instruments from the get-go. Um, here are some of the main features of these instruments that have um, either very helpful in a clinical environment or you know, otherwise beneficial um, 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 uh, benefits. So that overall handle design, um, it is very comfortable to hold and the size and shape makes it also really easy to rotate as well as to pass back and forth. Um, the handle is made of a resin type of a plastic. However, it has that LM Ergo touch surface. So all of that white area you see is that um, kind of creepy, um, in a very good way, creepy um, non-slip surface. The overall weight of the instrument is well balanced. Um, most extraction instruments in the marketplace today tend to be really back heavy. So the back of the handle being quite heavy and the tip of the instrument very light may feel kind of odd. Uh, in your hand in the procedure. So here, the center point of the weight is right about at the beginning part of that handle. So it does um, um, equate to a well-balanced, easy to use instrument. Overall weight is very light. Um, most practitioners, when they first come in contact with the LM extraction instrument, are surprised um, how light they are. And of course, you know, in one extraction, that's not a huge deal, but if the procedure is longer or there are more extractions that can add up. From the ergonomics perspective, the color coding also plays an important role. So all of the LM instruments are first um, are color coded by the subcategory. So each subcategory has their own uh, unique color then within that subcategory, a straight tip version and the slightly curved tip versions have a different shade of that same color. For example, these two instruments here, the lighter shade of this instrument has a completely straight tip and the darker shade um, of this instrument has slightly curved tip. Also, the how wide the blade is measured in millimeters is clearly stamped or laser marked on a handle. So 
it's very easy for the practitioner to see uh, what instrument do I need to take next. Um, really reduces that back and forth um, uh, motion, um, trying to identify the instrument by the tips, um, plays a um, significant role uh, in ergonomics, especially in the long term. Um, the tips of these instruments, we use the same alloy than we use, for example, uh, for our conventional periodontal or operative instrument. This is the LM Duracrate Max Steel. Um, it's a powder alloy. It's well suited for these instruments because it is strong, uh, tolerant, and it does hold the um, sharp cutting edge quite well. So quite, um, quite good steel for extraction instruments as well. Small detail, but it, it contains um, no nickel either. So there should be no, no issues using uh, these uh, with the patients who may have uh, sensitive to uh, a nickel. Last but not least, um, the instrument itself is made of three components. So the handle part, then a metal seating that is securely and permanently mounted into that handle, and then the tip component is seated onto that metal seating. And that all forms a very strong construction and hygienic seals uh, between all of those components that make the instrument. Clinical relevance is always an um, important part of LM product design. And here, I mean, a doctor most often knows exactly where the tip or where the plate or the face of an instrument is, but in the event that need to be double checked, and if the practitioner wants that uh, visual confirmation, um, if you look at that handle, that color band uh, leaves a little gap on the one side, so there is a strip of that white um, uh, creepy material, handle material, and that white gap right there indicates where the face of the instrument is, or the tip, so very easy uh, a visual cue, if ever in doubt, where the face of an instrument is, especially if you are um, deeper, uh, deeper sub, as these instruments are used. Now, the first subcategory of the LM extraction instruments are the LM liftouts. And the liftouts are um, luxating instruments. And these categorically are, are designed for um, more atraumatic, atraumatic um, extractions. So the while the tip widths in millimeters are about standard, but the sideways profile of the tip is lower and skinnier compared to um, an elevator. As all luxators, these instruments have a pointy and sharp uh, edge or a tip. So that sharp tip is simply introduced, placed between the tooth and the connective tissue. Um, it may be moved sideways, you know, left, right, of course, around the tooth. Primarily, it is being pushed down towards the bottom, towards the apex, of that root, simply separating the tooth and the root surface from the connective tissue. Um, this instrument should not be used as an elevator. Um, it's not, it doesn't have the, the metal strength or the a mass of metal to apply force or bend that instrument. It is simply meant to be narrow enough to easily fit between the tooth and the tissue, uh, removing it from there. So please don't use this as an elevator. As I mentioned earlier, um, each subline or subcategory is color coded to identify whether the tip is completely straight designed or whether it has a slight curve. And when we talk about a curve plate here, so where the face of a tip starts off from the shank, it's slightly picked up from there, approximately 10, 15 degrees. So it's not curved sideways, but it's curved slightly up. So here on the straight instruments with the light blue color, um, the sizes are available at two, three, four, and five millimeter white plates. And with the curved, 
this sign, uh, we have three, four, and five millimeter um, size or white plates. The next subcategory is LM Slim Lift. So these are unique to LM Dental. Um, I don't know if this is 100% um, descriptive, but generally speaking, um, I think it would be fair to say that LM Slim Lift instrument is somewhat like taking a periotome size and style of a tip and putting that in the elevator or a luxator handle. Certainly some of the periotomes may be even smaller, but these are the slimmest luxating type instruments that um, um, I know of. These are intended to fit in the most um, narrow spaces and to perform the most atraumatic, atraumatic um, extractions. Obviously, you are still extracting and some tissue trauma, of course, will be caused, but much less with these than any other elevator or a luxating type of instrument. Um, a lot of um, practitioners today are using these, for example, when the extraction is being done to um, uh, place an implant. So a little bit faster healing there. Also, many practitioners are using these for um, uh, pediatric patients when the extractions um, should be gentle and um, not always or often so complicated. And here, very importantly, please do not use these as elevators. These are very, very fine tipped instruments. Same concept applies here, um, color-coded, light shade, um, the straight ones, and the tip or the sizes available, three, four, and five millimeter white plates and the curved, which is darker purple, uh, three, four, and five millimeter sizes as far as the blade width goes. Um, very good and informative um, a feedback and testimonial from a dental surgeon here from Helsinki, Finland. What was interesting, um, when this doctor, Peter, first saw these instruments, he thought that, wow, the handle looked kind of big, but once he started using it in a clinical environment, he felt and found out that it actually fit the hand perfectly when he was working. Um, he also confirmed that these were a very good fit, um, um, getting into um, narrow um, spaces. And he has an interesting um idea about using even though these instruments are fine but when um when he was using a wider blade instrument he felt that the force of luxating or extracting when he was cutting the tooth from the tissue was spreading wider uh, more thoroughly across all the root surfaces thus he felt it was um, reducing the risk of the root or the very tips being um, fractured. Um, he also felt that many extractions, he could get the tooth out um, by using these instruments and not needing um, many other uh, instruments or other measures. The grip uh, he found to be excellent on the instrument. And generally speaking, um, we often get asked, well, what size of a tip um, should I choose? And of course, that depends on the, um, um, the clinical procedure, a um, little bit of personal preference. But um, uh, this surgeon made a general recommendation that the wider tips, so like four and five millimeter, typically would be better when extracting the lower molars. And then more narrow, like a three millimeter tips, would be typically good when extracting um, teeth, you know, from the maxilla where the root. Um, being more of them tend to be a little bit more narrow. And he made a good point. Um, lots of practitioners have old, maybe not so good condition and well-performing instruments um, at their um, um, storage right now. Um, getting a efficient new instruments 
will really help the procedures to go faster and smoother. So letting the tool work you instead of trying to make it make it work. The third category here is the LM twist out. And these are the traditional elevators from the little bit from the design perspective, but then for how you can use them. So these elevators are good for all extractions. These instruments are excellent if and when maybe a little bit more force or maybe a little bit torque is needed. Uh, the design is very robust. It will handle um, a little bit of force. Um, for example, in dental surgeries, when getting the tooth out of there is one of the most important things. These instruments would be absolutely um, uh, fantastic there. Um, Many practitioners have a tendency to kind of gravitate towards the um, slimmer instruments we talked about earlier, and that's absolutely fine. But um, my recommendation would be, regardless, still get one or two of these uh, twist out elevators, because there will be a moment when maybe slightly more um, um, force is needed. So to make sure that the fine tip instrument, for example, the lift out um, slim luxator is not accidentally bent um, in that kind of application. Having the elevator, uh, these twist out instruments available will make things run smoothly. Here we have the same lineup. So the lighter shade of red, I guess we could call it pink. These are the straight uh, tip instruments three, four, five millimeter white plates available. And then the curved are the dark reds. And here, three, four, five millimeter plate, um, plate width, sorry, are also available. Um, a very good um, testimonial and feedback from a dentist in Australia. So he had been doing fair amount of extractions um, but he had been using some other um, luxators. And every now and again, he had to use a little bit of force or pressure. And oftentimes in these kind of a little bit of torque applications, the instruments were breaking. And he was, um, he had been wondering to himself, like, why wouldn't there be a little bit more sturdy luxator that he could have? So he could get the job done, but the instruments wouldn't break on him. Then he ran into the LM um, twist out and he found what he was looking for. He felt that it was fitting and working like the luxators he had been using before, but the LM twist out was able to handle the um, extractions uh, the way he wanted to um, do them. So. This helped the um, this dentist, and he was happy how um, how it functioned or performed. Now the last two instruments, or the last subcategory, here is the LM um, root tip instruments. So these are a little bit specialty instruments. These are intended. So sometimes you know when we extract a very tip of the root or maybe a fragment of it um, is left behind and it's often there at the very bottom of that pocket. Uh, the instrument that partly caused the uh, uh, fracturing of it and left that little bit behind is probably not gonna get that very uh, last piece out of there. Then is when these um, root tip instruments come handy. So these are for the most part primarily in um, intended just getting that very tip of the root after it's been fractured off from there. So on the left hand side here we've got the root tip pick and this is more like a traditional hand instrument um, how it looks. So it has that medical grade silicone handle and it is two-ended so double-ended uh, the tips being mirror image of each other. This instrument would be really good for, you know, harder to reach, typically posterior 
further back in the posterior, you would um, need to go. This instrument would be better, and it's simply because of that double double bend on that shank that allows you to get it all the way back in the mouth and yet still deep into the bottom of the pocket. Um, on the right hand side is the LM root out. So this is basically um, a luxating or extraction instrument version of the, um, the root tip pick. Uh, color coded green, so you can tell it easily and quickly apart from the others. Uh, the tip being S1, so straight um, uh, tip, and one millimeter uh, wide. And both of these are about one millimeter wide. Uh, the root out would be a very good instrument when you have more direct line of sight where you need to go. So typically anteriors, maybe some premolars, would be absolutely fantastic instrument to get that last bit out of there. Um, two additional or accessory products to mention here. So on the left-hand side are the cassettes. So note here, so all of the LM extraction instruments, they do come with their um, own protective cassettes. So they're packaged that way. These cassettes are fully autoclavable. So when you buy the instrument, you open up the box, please do not discard the cassette. It is there for a reason. It um, does a good job of protecting the instrument, you know, keeping it sharp, but also protecting um, all staff members when handling these sharp tip instruments uh, during the reprocessing uh, cycles. Um, if cassette needs to be replaced, they can be purchased separately um, using this part number here. Um, practical tip, if you have not yet used these instruments, so when you buy your first instruments, um, when you take the instrument out of the cassette at a chair side, uh, you can still, of course, hold the handle and pull it off um, by holding the handle, but pull it from the front end. So pull it more from the tip side. Uh, that is the way it's designed to come out. When you're trying to pull it from the back end, um, it doesn't really slide out that easily. So hold the handle, pull it more from towards the tip and it pops up nicely. Um, last but not least, um, LM has a round um, stick shaped sharpening stone. This can be um, used to touch up that instrument from the face side, so from the inside. You can also sharpen your extraction instruments using any flat stone you might have. And with that, you would do it from the back side, so from the concave side of the tip. So that concludes the overview of these um, extraction instruments. Um, we will open it up for uh, any questions that you might have, or like we said earlier, if you have any experiences using these instruments, feel free to share. We'd love to hear um, about your experiences. Thank you.